I know it's been a minute, but you still stay strong. Yes, it's been a minute, but you still held on. So keep moving, keep climbing. It won't be long. Keep laughing, believing you're right where you belong. Cause it's y'all, y'all, and I'm back. Oh, yes, again. I'm back, y'all. <laughs> Hello beauty babies and welcome to my affordable fall tutorial. I'm just starting out by priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. I happen to really enjoy using this spray as a primer and it works really really well. I'm going to be dealing with the uh, T-zone area, primarily my nose which can get very oily with this CoverGirl True Blend primer uh, it works pretty well I used it for at least two weeks um, there's something new I've been using that I like a bit better but it does work really well for a drugstore primer for oily skin now I am dealing with the under eye circles and other dark areas on my face with the LA girl pro concealer uh, in the color orange just doing some color correcting I'm also going to be adding toffee in the same uh, line of concealer in also those dark areas on my face uh, the foundation I'll be using is the Maybelline fit me I believe that is in uh, spicy and also in um, I can't remember the other color but it'll be listed in the description bar below love that foundation just bring my real techniques brush with the NYX in matte uh, setting spray it just works really really well uh, also I dabbed on some of the uh, black radiance BB cream in my lower area um, of my face as it's a little bit darker and just blends really really well I don't always uh, apply my foundation in a spotting kind of way it just really depends on what I'm using that particular day and this is the way I just chose to do it on this day now to set I'll be using the black opal finishing powder in the color medium mixed with the Ben Nye Mojave uh, deluxe powder in the color Dolce love this mixture of powders it is just fantastic I always get a flawless look each and every time I don't care what foundation I'm using when I set with this powder it just really does a great job keeps you matte my t-zone my, my nose is the only place that you know will just oil up by say around 12 o'clock or so but um that Ben Nye powder, it keeps a lick and it keeps on ticking. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. Now I'm going to be um, brushing off that powder with this Sonia Kashuk fluff, fluffy brush. I need to find another brush um, that's like this brush. I, I don't have any other brush in my collection that does quite what this does. It's very small and very fluffy but it's dense enough to be able to direct the movement of the bristles so it will only remove uh, the powder the way I want it to be removed and I can use it to move powder around. I, I just love this brush. I didn't bake on this look today um, because I just wanted it to be light and not look uh, as cakey and I don't need a really super super flawless look now using the MAC mineral skin finish in the color give me sun I love this I happened to come across it at a CCO store so I got it 
for like 15 between 15 and 20 dollars which you know is a steal because those are usually 30 bucks or more it just happens to be a, the, a great color for my uh, complexion it blends in really well and I've had a hard time trying to find a powder that was not too dark or not too light and this really works now for the piece de resistance as they say going to the eyes using our feature eye makeup which is the Maybelline color tattoo the eye chromes they're 24 hour smudge resistant this is in the color fool's gold and I'm just going from the outside in in small motions dragging the color over but I'm not pressing hard I'm really using light strokes to bring the color from the outside in only because you can control better the amount of product if you go from the outside and go in work inward that way if there's a lot of product it's on the outside where you would normally want it to be anyway so that's why I started from the outside and went in now I'm going to be switching gears right here for a second to use the black radiance true complexion contour palette that medium sculpting color I'll be using to do some sculpting on the eyes now if you haven't picked up this contour palette you're missing out okay you need to go and get it even if it's just for the contour color alone it's a beautiful palette the powders that black radiance makes are out of this world for a drugstore company they're top-notch so you need to go try something from the powder range in black radiance you won't be disappointed this contour palette I use each and every day that I wear makeup that's not an exaggeration I'm just saying okay um, I just love it it's great for what I'm doing with it right now which is sculpting or uh, using the contour color for crease work it just works really really well you get a really good color payoff you can make it as deep as you want or go as light as you want in particular this brush uh, this is a crown brush it's a dual fiber brush I really like uh, those brushes from crown I have to get some more this is the Nika K 9 perfect 9 palette I'm gonna be using that deep brown color deep chocolate brown color just to give me some more definition in the crease okay you don't have to do this you could just go you know with the fool's gold but I just want more definition in that eye area so I'm just gonna deepen it by using that chocolate in the crease that's a domed brush uh, made by Morphe it's in their vegan collection uh, I think it was a part of the 17 piece 17 or 18 piece brush set that I purchased from them okay now we're gonna go in with this is um, the sheer bronze color I believe it's called sheer bronze and we're going from the inside towards the middle again in these short strokes please do wipe your applicator a little bit on the edge of the um, tube before you apply it to your eyelid so you don't get too much because you can go back over it if you want to as you can see I'm doing here several times until I get them both looking the way I want them to now I'm going back in with fool's gold just to deepen it a little bit I didn't think it was deep enough on that side now going back to the Nika K perfect nine palette using that color with a uh, this is like a is this is another morphe brush I don't know the number of it 
but it's kind of flat and it's great for crease work. It's also really great for uh, blending out colors, blending out transition colors is great for that also. I like it because it's thin, so it works really well. Now we're going on to the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. This is a great drugstore product, another great drugstore product. I have been sleeping on it for a long time. Please don't sleep on NYC uh, Liquid Eyeliner. It's very, very nice, extremely black, very liquidy. It's easy to use. You just want to take your time when you're using it. I'm not going to be doing any kind of super winging. Um, one, because I am not the greatest at winged eyeliner. I can do them, <laughs> but um, they take too much time and way too much concentration and if you don't get one right you have to work on the other to make it match with that one so I don't do them a whole lot although I, I can do them and I thought I would do a small one for you guys because a lot of people that they tend to love um, wings you see them everywhere wings 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 I like little wings. You still get the same kind of look, but you don't have to have it, you know, taking up a lot of your eye, especially if you don't know how to do them well. So the smaller the footprint you make on your eye with the wing, it's probably the better. And this is a great product to, to really do that with because you can make a really thin line very easily. Okay, now we're going to move on to some uh, under eye work, going back to the Nikka K Perfect 9. We're going to use that shimmery gold color underneath the eye. I always like rimming my eyes with a shimmery color because it gives a kind of depth and a glow to the eyes. It doesn't have to be a very stark shimmery color. The softer the shimmer, the better. Now, if you want to make a statement with, you know, super shimmer underneath the eyes, go right ahead. But for looks like this that I like to do, you can make the same kind of statement, but in a different kind of way. Now we're going to go back in with that chocolate brown again, just to give a slight smoke. We're not going to really smoke out the eyes too much. Just a little bit of depth on the outer rim of the eyes. Just to give the illusion. Because all your eye needs to see is that depth. You don't have to go all the way if you don't want to. That's something I'm learning in makeup. To try to achieve the same kind of looks without being overly dramatic. Now one of my favorite mascaras, Laura Geller's Fortifying Lashes Primer Mascara. This mascara, I love it. I still believe it has made my eyelashes grow. I don't care what anybody says. I love it. It's really easy to use. It curls your eyelashes really well. And I, I use it every day I wear makeup. Now for the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Mascara. I only use this mascara on my lower lashes because it draws them and defines them in such a particular way that other mascaras do not it really elongates my lower lashes and that's how I use it I don't use it the long way I use the tip of the brush to apply the mascara and I have used like an entire tube just using it on my lower eyelashes <laughs> but it's just like so perfect for that. Now my other favorite is the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. I fell in love with the, the regular one and so when they came out with the waterproof, I just had to have it and it's perfect. I use the tip of the brush mostly to add the mascara. It elongates the eyelashes 
and it thickens them, gives me great volume and length, and I love it. Now they really need to work on the formula a little bit more because up on the brush it's, it's really gloppy and you have to clean the brush really well before you apply it, but it's beautiful. Now for Maybelline's Lash Sensational. This is affordable um, mascara. You can just use this on the top and bottom. I do that. There are times where I just use this on the top and bottom lashes and it gives you a beautiful look. It will thicken your lashes and elongate them. So yeah, that's affordable mascara. The other three or like in the 20 buck range but you can just go with the Maybelline I'm just cleaning up my the edges with some powder I just happen to like a clean edge eye my I'm getting older so I can't be fooling with no tape <laughs> now we're just um, patting in that powder that was on the tip of my nose and we're going to go on now to contouring again using the black radiance true complexion palette in medium to dark with a slanted um, contour brush this brush is just perfect to me it's slanted and all you have to do is push it in and up while you go down with your powder and it's just perfect you don't want to put, you don't want to make your line of contour too wide um, because it, it doesn't look realistic. I know some people, you know, they like for you to see their contour and it's okay to me if you see some of it, but I want it to be blended and I really want you to just get the idea of shadow versus me turning my face to the side and you go oh that's her contour line <laughs> even if you like sharp edges you should still blend them so that you don't see lines and I think that's why I love this brush it's just really good at blending and it, it gives me a soft edge anyway even when I put the contour on so I don't have to do too much blending afterwards this is Sleek's um, translucent powder setting powder I believe this is in the color um, I want to say dark I'll put it in the description box I use it to blur the top of the contour line because it's a it's a little bit more red so it gives me uh, a more seamless look now for blush this is elf cosmetics blush quad and dark I love this blush quad love it it has the greatest color selection for all skin complexions really I'm not exaggerating that but for women of color it can go and I believe it's only six dollars between three to six dollars it's just beautiful very very pigmented I mix the colors all the time depending upon what I'm wearing and you're just gonna get a, a soft application of blush there That is my IT Cosmetics powder brush. I love that brush. It's so soft. Now I'm just blending in everything. So you don't get any hard lines. And now we're going to set with our Wedding Wild Set and Spray. It's a really good set and spray. It has a lot of alcohol in it. So if you have issues with alcohol, you don't want to use that unless you've heavily powdered your face 
and I use use typically use a lot of powder so that's why I use that now this hard candy is one of my favorite setting sprays it gives you a little glow and it is great with setting makeup I love it that's one of my ride or die should I do a ride or die tutorial y'all I, I think I might this is the hot cocoa liner by NYX one of my favorites I didn't wear it much during the summer but when it gets colder I love to wear it it's something about my skin color changes and it's it looks better in the winter months than it does in the summer but I love this liner NYX has some really great products and they have a lot of new stuff out this is ColourPop's Crush. Is that right? <laughs> Y'all forgive me. If it's not, it'll be in the description box. It's a beautiful brown color. And now this is cheat code. That I know for sure. <laughs> this is a metallic lippy by color popcorn cheat code it's beautiful bronze color oh my god and it's super shiny love it to death I remember now that first color pop color is limbo it's limbo <laughs> that was the first color pop color now this is cheat code now I'm going to put um tight fit in the middle I love to create my lippies I usually never wear just one color out of the tube I always build them give the lips more dimension and to make you know your makeup uniquely you when you build a lippy nobody can do it like you and this is our final look very fall appropriate but not your classic dark maroon or red you can do what you want i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial please do subscribe and thumbs up and i'll see you all in the next video